Blind woodworker George Wurzel sits in his workshop at Enchanted Hills Camp. I've been blind since birth, or nearly blind since birth. People ask me if I, if I think I would be a better artisan than I am today if I could see. And I don't think that my skill as a woodworker could be much better than it is today. George carves with a wood lathe. The average person on the street thinks if someone's blind, they're lucky if they can tie their own shoes. Or if you continually tell blind people they can't do something because they're blind, they eventually begin to think that that's true themselves. So it's my goal to show them that, you know, that they can do lots of things. I, I have very few regrets as to how I've lived my life, you know, being a blind person. I, I've been all over the world. Uh, and there are still places I absolutely want to go. If I, Took an adventure trip, started on Kola Peninsula in Russia and skied all the way across Norway, Finland, and Sweden. I bought and sold uh, horses and rode in dirt rides, rides that were 50 miles long, 100 miles long. I've skied way more ski races than I can even count. Bicycling, swimming, backpacking, canoeing, a little mountain climbing, a little ice climbing. So my life as a blind person has been extremely rich. Lighthouse for the Blind and Visually Impaired. Visit lighthouse-sf.org.